What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to Reign of the Seven Spellblades, this time with episode 6. Uh, going to be starting out uh, 1 minute 35 uh, through the episode. Have already seen the opening and a little bit of the start of the fight. Uh, my hate fever started there enough a bit, so I've um, started to obviously decide to do a re-record. Uh, last episode was great though, seeing KE uh, getting an attempted lobotomy, um, brain invasion <laughs> from Snake Eye Milligan, uh, who was kind of outed as an antagonist. Uh, nice bit of help from Mr. Andrews last episode with that, uh, but in general a little bit more of the details of the ongoing events with the Garuda and such uh, were revealed. Um, but looking forward to seeing the fight today. If it's anything like the Garuda fight, it is going to be absolutely brilliant. Let me know what you guys think of this episode though down in the comment section. Leave a like on the video if you guys did like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these reactions. Let's get right into the episode. Yep, she's got a, uh, a basilisk eye. Half Medusa. Um, yeah, in, in preparation for this, I actually remembered that the same studio that done this done One Punch Man Season 2, so that kind of figures out the sound effects. I really like the sound effects of One Punch Man Season 2 as well. They were really great. The animation wasn't quite as nice, but didn't make it any worse in my opinion. Still love that show. Still waiting on Season 3 news. Yeah, I think just after this is where I got to. Gonna parry that shit. I make a big deal out of this. And yeah, this is where I uh where I had to stop. Yeah, we're obviously guessing that's not a normal occurrence. And yeah, you see here, even even with two of them, her her flame looks much stronger there, doesn't it? <laughs> Sorry for the sniffling, guys. Everything. I can make that. Oh shit! It's got another one. A hand. Okay, <laughs> well, I guess she does seem a bit strange, so I can imagine she'd put an eye on her hand. <laughs> Ooh, 
It looks like she's deflecting it off her blade again. Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> she just cut her hand off. <laughs> Again, sorry guys. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, actually done a really good job there. What happened? One minute it was there, the next it was cut off. Wow. Oh, really? So this is the seventh spell blade. I did bring it up last episode. I kind of thought maybe each of them would perhaps have one as well, but maybe it's a thing of she's the only one that has one. She is the seventh spell blade. <sighs> Interesting. But yeah, good job. Especially now, now, right there. Mr. Andrews, maybe. I didn't touch her brain. Never when they got that far, but you never know. No. No, definitely not. <laughs> Little jump. <laughs> Fair play to her. Fair play to her. Acting like this after all that. After almost having your brains exposed. Yeah. I feel yeah. I think she's right there. I feel like this this place really is full of creeps and strange people. I'm not crying at the show, by the way. <laughs> Again, my hay fever has just decided to kick in right now. The final day. Oh dear. God love having you. Yeah, I do like Katie a lot. Definitely one of my favourite characters. One of the ones we've been most exposed to as well. We haven't really had too much from the redhead guy or the uh, the silver haired guy either. Had a little bit of McFarlane, was it? I think her name was something like that.
Yeah, definitely the three at the front are my favourites. Oh, here's Severus Snape again. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this guy's well intent. And as a as a decent guy, he's just got a few kind of strange beliefs and a, and a bit scarier than most. Consumed by a spell. Yeah, I kind of understand that. It's almost a little bit like the. What the fuck was that? Like the, uh, the scouts from Attack on Titan, a little bit. Not quite the same. Ah, so maybe this guy is evil. <laughs> Eliminating stupidity, hey? I don't know if it's that great show, is it? This seems stupid itself, ironically enough. If you have a world for the geniuses, surely there will also be a distinction between the genius and the super genius, right? And then eventually it will be called the idiots and the geniuses. You guys see that the same way I do? I don't know. Maybe I'm talking rubbish. Quite sudden, this. <laughs> so it's quite sudden. Jesus. Oh. Where is this coming from? Does he now have the same ability Nanao did? I mean, it seems different in a way, but similar in the fact that they're kind of slowing down. Oh, 
Oh shit, so this is another Spellblade. How 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 is it that just this episode both of, again the pacing is definitely a little fast, isn't it? So yeah, he can also use one. Okay, okay. Oh, No. <laughs> This is brutal, fucking hell. Like I said, this episode sure has got a lot going on already, hasn't it? Fuck me. So we've already seen now two Spellblades in the span of one episode. I'm guessing this is a little flashback as to what happened. What is that on the left there? You need to subtitle that. <laughs> These people knew about this? Oh, it's the sister. I haven't seen her much, have we? I think we saw a, a flash of her last episode. Who's this guy, though? Again, I feel like the pace in this wise, this episode is definitely um, different from how this played out in. Who the fuck is this now? Is that the girl that's been looking after us? I think that's the person we've been seeing in the shadows, right? We see her in the opening as well. Yeah, like I said, I feel like the pacing is definitely quite a bit faster than whatever happened in the source material here. That's all. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, look, there was a lot more of these people. But, um, oh, wasn't she the headmaster?
Was it one of them that had master? That looks like Snake Eye Milligan. Same hair. Oh no, that's the headmaster. I recognise oh, one of the other ones. The redhead one was another teacher of ours. Oh damn, looks like they've got a new plot. <laughs> Killed the teachers. Interesting. Well, I'm glad we know a little bit more about Oliver now. But again, pacing wise? Questionable to say the least. Not sure if you guys feel the same way. Yeah, I think again I mistook the red haired woman. I think she's maybe she, she was maybe in that plant class that we were doing when we saw those mandrakes. It might have been that class. She was in she was definitely in one of the scenes in one of the classrooms. But yeah, her and the headmaster. I imagine the others are maybe some teachers at the school as well. I wonder the reason for them killing. And yeah, obviously that's all of his mother that we know now. I wonder what the reason for killing her was though. Must have been a good reason to have that many kind of powerful spellcasters kill you. But um, as I said, pacing wise, definitely questionable. Definitely questionable. I mean, one minute we're focusing on Katie and fighting Snake Eye Milligan. Next thing you know, we've got a, a really important segment about Oliver. <laughs> and it all happens really fast. Like, no time to wrap up with Katie. I mean, don't get me wrong, we did wrap up a little bit, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I kind of feel like it's Oliver like, should have should have maybe took up an episode by itself, this stuff with Oliver and his mum and him killing this teacher. But again, I'm glad we got a better look at Oliver, though. Glad we got to know a little bit more about him. And again, it seems like he can use a spell blade as well. Like I said, pace and rise with that. We haven't seen any till this point, and now we see two in one episode. Reversi. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, let me know let me know what you guys thought of the pacing, um, especially you guys that have read the source material. Um, again, I can imagine there's bits left out here and there. I feel like that was definitely the case with the KE uh, Snake Eye Milligan stuff with Oliver crying at the end. Um, that also felt a bit too much, if you know what I'm saying. Why is he crying? It didn't. It was, an, it was a situation that lasted throughout half, uh, from the halfway point of last episode till the start of this one for about five minutes, ten minutes. Um, so I feel like that was obviously a bit more expanded in the source material. I say obviously, probably was a bit more expanded in the source material and there was a little bit more to it. Um, again, Katie, probably one of my favourite cast members though. Uh, definitely my probably my third favourite of the kind of group of what I assume to be uh, the Spellblade kind of protectors or whatever you call them <laughs> protectors uh on that note we did see both nanao and oliver use a spell blade today they seem kind of similar in the way they kind of slow down time oliver's look like he kind of searches for a, a kind of situation um it's what like what i always say if there's a 0.01 percent chance of something happening there's a, it's like a 50 or 50 percent chance you it's over yes it's going to happen or no and it looks like he picks out um a potential kind of future from those percentage chances um obviously this one there was almost no chance of him surviving a strike but um his spell blade found that kind of future where he did uh, kind of get the winning blow in and it looks like nanos i'm not really sure after nanos it just looked, looked like it cut through time honestly it looked like it didn't have time she didn't have really time to react to snake eye milligan's attack but um she found a way to like again almost like diavolo like kind of cut out that period of a uh, period of time uh definitely need a little bit more explanation on that i'll probably need to see that again but a uh, really cool little taste of uh two of the spell blades obviously there's five left so i uh, can't wait to see those um again i feel like the oliver backstory stuff was a bit rushed um i, I would have liked to know a bit more seen a bit more of that maybe have a little bit more feelings attached to it because they did just go by go through it quickly at the end of the episode here but um turns out the uh, the teacher that i thought might have been a kind of double agent kind of seemingly bad but a good guy good guy was just genuinely a bad guy so and he had a fucking considering <laughs> it's so ironic his, his kind of ideology was so stupid considering he was fighting for the 
the livelihood of geniuses <laughs> it's, it, i just yeah i just find that quite funny but um yeah nice fight there as well uh the animation and the sound effects again were absolutely on point today uh but like i said just a bit fast for me um especially with oliver, oliver like i didn't really feel much when that story was kind of happening I don't, again i don't know if you guys feel the same obviously the act of what happened is wrong and feel bad for that but in general i don't have any kind of attachment to that um this is our first little bit of kind of knowing about oliver and and, and like where's where's all this cult stuff come from as well <laughs> all these followers him now being like what is that about again i imagine that's much better explained in the source material but um it turns out now he's just like the leader of a cult <laughs> so, yeah i yeah, guess we'll see what happens there uh let me know what you guys think about this one though down in the comment section uh, if you guys can help explain a bit better as well that would be much appreciated again there's obviously some things uh, that i'm going to complain about that just kind of fly over my head so apologies about that but yeah um, let me know what you guys thought in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys liked and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date i'll be back next week with episode seven so see you guys then and enjoy the rest of your day guys